Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to discuss MCQs based on 15th of January 2017. By the way, if you have not subscribed to the An Academy YouTube channel, do subscribe it so that I come online every day between 10 to 11 p.m. And today I'm going to answer all the questions which you have asked on the yesterday's live session. So just watch it between 10 to 11 p.m. I'll be online. And these MCQs are based on the current affairs of today. And instructions are pretty clear. Watch the Hindu video before or after attempting the questions, which is made by the Panchu Singh. Pause the video as soon as the MCQ appear. Solve it. Continue the video. And please note down your correct answer. There is no negative marking. Attempt all the ten questions, and this is the thing sequence which you need to follow. If you can get eight out of ten correct on a daily basis, then your prelims is almost done. You will clear it. Uh, which of the following? is the ashok chawla committee related to so answer is allocation of natural resources and uh, union cabinet secretariat in 2011 uh, set up a high powered committee headed by ashok chawla to suggest a road map for efficient and transparent distribution of scarce natural resources so answer is d uh, question number 2 Consider the following statements regarding Millennium Challenge Corporation. It is an international foreign aid agency that helps countries in fighting global poverty. It was established by the U.S. Congress in 2004. Which of the following option is correct? Both the options are absolutely correct. Answer is C. Yes, Millennium Challenge Corporation is an international foreign aid agency that helps countries in fighting global poverty. It was established by U.S. Congress in 2004, and United States and India have agreed to cooperate in the Millennium Challenge Corporation with a common aim of reducing poverty globally. globally through sustainable economic growth sustainable means which is not detriment to environment and which can be continued indefinitely in future in the existing conditions question number 3 consider the following statements regarding ken betwa link project it anushages anushages matlab it wants to happen in the future it's it can foresee that this can happen in the future ideal case scenario Renosage is diversion of surplus water from Betwa Basin to the water deficit Kane Basin. This project requires a large quantity of forest land from the Panna Tiger Reserve to be diverted. Answer is B. Why? Because surplus water of Kane Basin will go to the Betwa, not vice versa. S A U P S C. The mark is bad. Okay, so this is vice versa. So first is wrong, second is correct. Answer is B two only. So Kane Betwa Link Project and Renosage is diversion of surplus water of Kane Basin to the water deficit Betwa Basin and Kane Betwa River Linking Project has got the go ahead for environmental clearance. The nod comes even as the project is being examined by Supreme Court's Central Empowered Committee for adequacy of mitigative measures against its adverse impact on the Panna Tiger Reserve and MP. Question number four: Consider the following statements regarding the United Nations Group of 77. India is not a member of this grouping. It has 77 countries as members as of today. It was established in 1964. Which of the following statement is or are correct? Answer here is C. Only third is uh, there because India is a member of this group. Okay, and it has 134 countries. Okay, uh, like it promotes the interest of 134 developing countries, and it was established in 1964. So that is there. So. India is a member of this grouping and Ecuador has taken over from Thailand as chair of the group of 77 which promotes the interest of the 134 developing countries okay so answer is C that is 3 only here because this is the only thing that is correct uh consider question number 5 uh, consider the following statements regarding advance pricing agreements advance pricing agreements uh, It is an ahead of time agreement between a taxpayer and a tax authority on an appropriate transfer pricing methodology that is TPM for a set of transactions at issue over a fixed period of time. Advanced prices agreement was introduced in India by the Finance Act of 2012. All matters related to APAs are dealt by the CBDT. Which of the following is are correct? All the four are correct. So this is typical definition of advanced pricing mechanism. You can uh, agreement. It can be asked in mains. It can be asked in prelims. So please make sure you know the definition. Answer is D one two three. So three bilateral APAs are now signed with Indian subsidiaries of Japanese company, all including rollbacks. And the total number of bilateral APAs entered into by CBDT now stands at eight. Okay. So this is what is called as APA. Basically, an future agreement between a tax authority and tax paying agency. Consider the following statements regarding Saksham 2007 Sanrakshan Shamta Mahotsav. Okay, let's see. Uh, it is aimed to create awareness amongst masses towards judicious utilization and conservation of petroleum products, along with use of energy-efficient appliances and switching to cleaner fuels. If it is so big, then obviously the answer is right. It is being organized by Ministry of Environment and Forest. No, it is organized by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, and it is a month-long awareness program. So, answer here is one only. That is A, and uh, it is being organized by PCRA. 
which is Petroleum Conservation Research Association and other oil and gas PSUs under the aegis of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Question number 7. Where is the first ever Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union International Dance Festival going to be held? Beijing, Hyderabad, Kuala Lumpur, Bali. Answer is B, that is Hyderabad, India. Tabi question dala hai. The first ABU International Dance Festival, which India's public service broadcaster Prasar Bharti has the honor of hosting. So Prasar Bharti will be hosting and it is scheduled to be on 15 January, that is today in Hyderabad, that is India. Okay, do you know Hyderabad is also city in Pakistan, that is why it is mentioned Hyderabad, India. So don't get confused. So question number 8, consider the following statements regarding the rice in a dialogue. It is India's flagship geopolitical conference organized by MEA in partnership with Observer Research Foundation. Okay, this is correct. The ninth Rice in a Dialogue is to be held soon. No, this is the second one. The theme for this year's Rice in a Dialogue is Connecting Asia. This is wrong. It is, what was the theme for the first Rice in a Dialogue? It, the theme for this is the new normal multilateralism with multipolarity. Two bhi galat hai, third bhi galat hai. Should be second, it should be the new normal multilateralism with multipolarity. So answer is C, that is one only. Okay, so the theme for first was Connecting Asia. This is second and this is the theme. Question number 9, uh, which of the following states launched the digital Dakia scheme? Dakia, Hindi word, hota hai, hota hai, postman. So, you know, digital Dakia scheme inaugurated in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, to encourage cashless transactions and digital Dakia or digital postman will visit different places to teach and encourage people about cashless transactions and its benefits. Okay, so last question for today is, which of the following statements regarding project Mosam is correct? Mosam is again, it is an Arabic word, it is a Persian word, it is an Urdu word, it is a Hindi word, whatever you want to call it. And it means, it is that from Mosin, Monsoon, Mosam, sab ek word hote hai. And it means weather. So it is the study on the effects of climate change on Indian farmers. Uh, no, this is wrong. It would lead to an enhanced understanding of cultural values and concerns of Indian Ocean countries. So yes, this is correct. And this is the answer that is B. The project Mossam aims to understand how the knowledge and manipulation of the monsoon winds has shaped interaction across the Indian Ocean. So since I knew the route ki Mossam is derived from a Arabic word Mossin, so that's why I know that. So that's why I could relate it to monsoon and that's why I know that it is across the Indian Ocean. All the countries, even Australia, Pakistan, all these are affected by monsoon, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. And it led to the even your Africa. Okay, and it led to the spread of shared knowledge systems, traditions, technologies and ideas along the maritime routes. Project Mossam is a Ministry of Culture project to be implemented by GNESA, that is Indira Gandhi National Centre for the Arts. It's very close to uh, India Gate, you know, it has a nodal coordinating agency with support of ASI, again very very close to India Gate and National Museum, again like Tino ke Tino within one or two kilometer distance. Pe. So thank you for watching this lesson, have an awesome day.